Philippines who should move forward to the merit space. How can we better defend our uh, stance, sir, regarding the South China Sea? Well, I'm, I'm very confident about the materials that will be submitted, uh, especially on the seven points, plus the other seven points that uh, the permanent meeting of the place would still pick up, especially on the nine uh, dash line. And I go along with the observation of Justice Cato that the mere fact that they practically ignored the nine dash line indicates that the arbitrary tribunal is, uh, appears to be ignoring the nine dust line uh, claim of China, which will be good for us and good for the global commons. And do you think that is, that is our best defense, by China, uh, or I mean by the arbitral tribunal ignoring the nine dash line claim of China? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, ignoring it and not uh, recognizing it because that's the very crux of the claim over practically 90% of the South China Sea, including our own exclusive economic zone, the exclusive economic zones of Malaysia, Brunei, and uh, Vietnam. What do you think, sir, is it possible that a decision will be made uh, within the Aquino administration? Well, uh, let's hope that uh, it will be done. Let's hope that it will be done uh, before the arrival of the uh, new president. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir, even before the say, uh, China maintained its position to uh, fix whatever it is uh, through consultations and negotiations. Then just yesterday during the bilateral meeting, the, both parties agreed to resume the uh, foreign ministry consultations. How will this possibly affect the ongoing arbitration case? Uh, you think the Philippines should not uh, resume the consultations until such time that a decision is made? Or is it okay to do it with China? Despite the fact that certain years na ito natinil. Well, the, the consultations uh, will cover a number of things, uh, I would presume, like cultural, trade, uh, economics, uh, uh, technological uh, ties. Uh, but uh, it will not uh, include uh, the, the matter of uh, our claim, our position on the South China Sea, because that's already uh, in the jurisdiction of the permanent court of uh, arbitration. So when you speak of bilateral, it is bilateral relationship, not bilateral discussion on the case that we filed. So what's the purpose of that, sir, just to improve the ties? Yes, to improve the ties. Because, you know, uh, we should maintain that even if there's a conflict uh, in this area, there are many areas where we can have uh, productive uh, agreements, uh, like for example, trade, uh, cultural, technological uh, ties, even drugs. Uh, it's a matter that uh, we can discuss uh, with China because uh, drugs, 90% uh, I understand come from China, and we can appeal to them to restrict uh, the drug trade going to the Philippines and other countries. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh we cannot deny the fact that the consultation stopped two years ago uh, when the arbitration case was filed. So yeah. it also has an effect on, the arbitration case also has an effect on the consultations. Well, definitely. Even uh, if it, it will not Because China took it very personally. Unlike the, in the case of the Philippines, you know, in the Philippines, we are used to, to having uh, litigations without affecting personal uh, relationships. For example, business companies would litigate on certain issues, but they continue uh, dealing uh, with each other. So uh, I think in this case, China is not used to that. Uh, I remember the, the speech of uh, the ambassador Ma, uh, the former ambassador, when uh, she spoke in the Rotary Club of Manila, and she said that by filing a case against them in the arbitral tribunal, uh, we, we acted not as a friend, so they took it very personally because uh, apparently they're not used uh, to arbitration. Uh, they're not used to settling disputes uh, this way. The, the proposed way of uh, setting disputes is to discuss uh, ad infinitum, uh, non-stop. Uh, but the problem is uh, uh, when we discuss, uh, for example, territorial issues, they've already occupied part of our exclusive economic zone. So it would be to their advantage to keep on delaying. It would be to our disadvantage uh, to delay because uh, 
if uh, there is no resolution, they continue to be illegal occupants in our exclusive economic zone. Um, sir, but in short, these uh, consultations are not negotiations. No, uh, they're not. Uh, they're, the they're, negotiations they're, they're, they want. There may be negotiations in other areas, like trade, there may be or technology, drugs, but uh, not uh, this because that's already in the jurisdiction of uh, the arbitral tribunal. Uh -huh. Sir, what's your take on China asking the Philippines yesterday to avoid uh, discussing contentious issues during the APEC summit? And the contentious issues include um, uh, issues on maritime disputes, sir? Well, I, I, I do not agree because uh, the APEC is about uh, economic cooperation. And uh, this dispute affects the economy, it affects uh, the uh, environment, it affects our exclusive economic zone. Remember, it's called exclusive economic zone. So uh, we should uh, discuss that also. And I think the president should, uh, and the, the other members of the Philippine panel should take uh, the opportunity to enlighten the other uh, delegates there. Uh, at all levels, including heads of state and heads of the economies, to tell them about what's happening here, uh, to tell them what China is doing with respect to territorial disputes and environmental destruction. Sir, but the Philippine side promised not to bring it up. Well, uh, probably indeed. That's why, that's why I disagree. Uh, I think they can still uh, talk in the sidelines. There will be opportunities for one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, discussions between the president and other heads of state, the president should take advantage of that. Okay. Sir, how about your take on uh, China's gesture, like despite numerous invites before, uh, its foreign minister Wang Yi declined to visit the Philippines, despite the invite of uh, Foreign Secretary Albert Rosario, and then Xi Jinping is coming over to the country for APEC. Do you think that the soft and cool stand that all South China Sina was still a peaceful resolution? Na no, I think it's all about APEC. Uh, they are here to attend APEC. The Philippines that happens to be the venue. Uh, we are the host uh, country, but we do not decide on the agenda. Uh, so, to me, it's, it's a good opportunity to break the ice after that, uh, after what happened two years ago, when we filed our memorial. So, we cannot uh, be in total conflict with uh, countries that are uh, disputing our territory. Uh, we have to have a multi-sectoral, uh, multi-polar uh, uh, relationship with every country, even uh, even the United States. While the United States is a treaty ally, we can dispute with them on a number of issues like trade, uh, uh, balance of uh, trade, the way uh, they're treating us, uh, immigration, etc. Okay, sir, despite the fact that the arbitral tribunal said that it has jurisdiction over the case, uh, Taliban China maintains its position not to participate? Well, that's very sad. That, that's sir? very sad. It shows that China has not really grown uh, with its economy. You know, a mature uh, country should be respectful of international laws. And this arbitral tribunal is part of the international legal system. That they would ignore is something that's easier said than done. I assure you, if uh, and when we get a favorable ruling from uh, the arbitral tribunal, there will be an avalanche of uh, pressure uh, that China would have difficulty in resisting. Uh, pressure from other countries in the neighborhood, US, Japan, Australia, India, that would insist that uh, the South China Sea, most of it, outside the respective exclusive economic zones of the coastal states are part of the global commons because our victory here would be a victory also of Malaysia, the victory of Vietnam because they have a common problem with China and I'm sure they would uh, come in as well as the U.S. that has been insisting on freedom of navigation. Okay, so sir, if we get a favorable decision, what do you think will China do? I think that they'll be overwhelmed by, uh, by the international reaction. And if they continue stonewalling, uh, they'll be faced with a very yes. negative uh, international reaction. Okay, so in order for the case to move forward, last question, Paul. What do we expect to happen from November 24 to 30 for all the issues to be uh, discussed?
discuss and resolve uh, aside from the seven other issues? Well, we, 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 we expect that our legal panel will do very well. They have prepared well for this. Uh, it is sad that uh, China does not want to participate. So let's all pray for uh, successful uh, uh, determination and uh, resolution of this case. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.